you. Have you seen that? There's a TV series I wanted you to watch. Um, have you uh, Have you seen any of the feud? Uh, it's the first time I've asked you about this. Yeah, I, I, I've been really <laughs> busy, man. I like you know things have been crazy. I am so <laughs> interested in what what you think. I think you'll become glued to the series. But anyway, I wanted to ask you: Do you think the um, you know with all the drama today and some of it, most of it, just kind of made up, made for TV? Do you think the feud between Charles Barkley and Shaq last night was real? Because it seemed quite heated. I think it's getting real. I mean, if you've been watching these guys over the past several months, it's been kind of building. Like, you know, well, it started when they brought Shaq onto the show when Charles Barkley was the star. And, and, you know, Shaq has been getting a little bit bigger role and a little bit bigger role and a little bit bigger role, and he's starting to get a little bit more attention. And now the two Titans are going at it. Uh, what do you give it? What do you give that uh, movie? There? Oh, dude, this, is like, this is like a three and a half waffle movie, man. Yeah, it's interesting. I'll play the audio in a little while. Uh, all right, Willie, let's um, let's start with a big revival this weekend. Actually, a couple of big revivals, but one in particular that's going to be extremely huge in places like France and France. <laughs> Baywatch is back with uh, with is he in it? He's probably not in it, right? Well, you know they, they're very upfront. They're very upfront with it. David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson both do show up in this Baywatch movie. Mm. You know, and I got to tell you, we've been sold for months that this is going to be a raunchy, crazy, over the top comedy. It was almost going to be a parody of Baywatch, and it's only partly that. And I think that's what hurts the movie. You know, our expectations are that it's going to be this great comedy. And the reality is it's more of an action movie and a drama movie with some comedy in it. And you've got, you know, The Rock playing Mitch. He's the head of the Baywatch at Emerald uh, Bay. And, uh, you know, he's not just a lifeguard, man. He's like the hero of the beach. Everybody loves him. Everybody knows him. And he thinks that somebody's sneaking in drugs in their bay. So he decides with the rest of the Baywatch crew to try to get down to the bottom of it. And uh, the biggest problem is they have a new recruit, a, a former U.S. Olympic star who's totally flamed out, Matt Brody, played by Zach Gaffron, mm. who, for my money, is the most muscular, anorexic-looking man I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> uh, and you saw this movie. What, uh, what do you think? You know, I, I think that, that they should have stuck with the comedy. Yeah. At least the comedy's yeah. funny. At least when they're kind of making, they're, they're having that parody of Baywatch, you're enjoying yourself. You understand the joke. You get the joke. I think where it really goes off offline is the whole idea that they're a bunch of lifeguards who are investigating a crime. Yeah. And, and they kind of try to make some comedy out of that. But when that's the main crux of your story, you kind of bought in as a writer. I'm going to go one and a half waffles. I think you really have the, the, a bad mix of, of action and, and comedy here when it should have relied so much more on the comedy. Uh, I'm not surprised by the one and a half, which, which for you, one and a half out of four waffles means, A, it's worth going to see. Uh, it's not going to be any work of art, however. Right. I mean, you're going to get a few laughs. You're going to enjoy some some uh, ladies and gentlemen on the beach, and you know that's it. And what is uh, what does Pamela Anderson look like uh, today? Well, you know, they they in in real life she doesn't look a lot like Pamela Anderson anymore. I don't know if you saw those pictures of her at the Cannes Film Festival, but she looks very dignified now. Yeah, yeah. I I, I got to tell you, when she was the Tool Time girl, she was the most beautiful. Oh my god! Female yeah. on the planet, and then she had all of that work done, and she became freakish looking. It's just uh, and, and the addition of implants and everything else. It was just terrible. Uh, and that's what you get in this movie. You get a, a Pamela Anderson that they gussied up like they did in the old TV show, okay. but obviously with all the other additions that have happened. Right. All right. All right. So one and a half waffles for Baywatch. Now you have not seen. The movie that I'm very interested in that I think will be one of those that you're going to want to get out and see, I hope anyway, and that's Pirates of the Caribbean. What do you think? What are you hearing so far? Well, hearing so far that it's kind of a disaster. Oh, no. that, that really, it feels like the biggest Disney money grab ever. Uh, that you know that, that the story is just kind of blah, <laughs> that uh, they rely on a lot of the same jokes over and over again, that Johnny Depp is just kind of in autopilot as Jack Sparrow. 
<laughs> excuse me, with nothing exciting or new about it. It's not sounding like a winner. All right, and you'll uh, you'll see that one tonight. You can check Willie's website at uh, wafflemovies dot com and see what he thinks of it uh, for the, your plans for the weekend. So, and believe me, Willie, I don't know what it's looking like down your way, but uh, here Saturday is going to be nice. And have a oh. wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Otherwise, because you might be spending most of it indoors. Yeah, I'm just hoping to spend some time away from work, man. I'm. This is three day weekend. I'm. I'm taking it seriously. No work in this weekend. <laughs> no work, so no movies. Uh, all right, Willie. Thank you. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks so much. All right, we'll see you soon, right, Willie. Uh, Willie Waffle, and again, it's uh, the website is wafflemovies.com. Willie Waffle is brought to you by Honest John's, the Honest John's brand. And I have to tell you, um, I, we specifically buy Honest John's hot dogs and the, the kielbasa. It's the taste. It's lower in sodium. It is, uh, and of course, it's the local product. It's our. It's locally made, right? To, right in Utica. The Honest John's brand available at um, at Hannaford's throughout the area. Of course, Shenatry's, Kelly's Meat Market, Little Falls, the Village Market down in the Valley, and better grocery stores everywhere. When you're grilling this weekend, think about Honest John's, the local brand.